what were the challenges jumping into into a sequel for you with this one? Well, every movie is a challenge, you know, to even make it make sense from beginning to end. Um, but I didn't feel like there was any uh, special thing. I mean, I, I felt as if I had to be loyal to the first movie in terms of the story elements that happened. But stylistically and everything else, I felt free to make the movie I wanted to make. So it was, it was cool. Is this one of those films that you kind of sought out as a director, that you thought this is a material that I can I kind of get my teeth into and yeah, everything like yeah. that? I mean, I'm interested in complex psychological things. And I feel this, you know, wall of fantasy um, deals with kind of stuff that isn't necessarily totally linear and logical, but it's more emotional and spontaneous. And I like that, you know, each of the characters was discovering something about themselves that they didn't know. And only because of their connection did it facilitate their uh, change. How was it doing two back to back? Because it's a very rare thing that people do such things. But uh, was that a big, bigger challenge to do the two together? Well, it wasn't really because, you know, I had directed a lot of House of Cards. You know, I directed 12 hours of that. So this was only four hours, and it didn't seem that bad. Um, and since the stories are directly connected, we just knew um, where we were in space. You don't ever shoot a movie in continuity. So the fact that we were jumping ahead uh, to the other movie was not complicated. Are you quite far along with the other one, or is that one on the backbone until you've done with Rip Rivers? Monday morning. Monday morning, I go in and start editing free. Is there any uh, plans for you to go back to House of Cards if it carries on? I know you did some episodes well, with that. Such an amazing show as well. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, I love House of Cards, but um, they just finished season five, which I w obviously wasn't available to do anything with, and that's the last season. And so for fans in general terms, what can I expect from, from the sequel? Uh, thrills, chills. <laughs> I think uh, it's a lot, to me it's a lot sexier just because their connection to each other is a lot more spontaneous. and. You know, they really, I think, bonded in the first movie. And um, in particular, they shared a sense of humor, which I find is the most important thing. No matter how difficult a scene is or something, if you're able to laugh about it, it's okay. And once you're done with this one, is there any plans for any movies or is it uh, time for a break? I'm sorry, say it again. Uh, after this one, any more movies in the pipeline or is it uh, holiday time? I because I knew I'd be involved in editing this, so I'm just now beginning to read scripts. Uh, this is the, also the kind of movie where a lot of the fans here have come with, as friends and as part of a group. What do you think is this? What do you think it is about this movie that makes people want to go together as friends? Um, I think there's a shared thing, particularly among women, where there's stuff in the movie that maybe friends, women friends, may not talk about easily at lunch or something. But if they share this experience and enjoy it, the fantasy of it, then I think it allows them to indulge their own fantasies. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? Yeah. Nice. Hey, 